Hey guys, it's Mystic here. Today we're going to talk about and do something just a little bit different. Today we're going to start talking a little bit about uh, my theories on Little Nightmares 1, 2, and 3. Or Very Little Nightmares. We're going to start with 2. More specifically, Mono and his story. Mono is a very lonesome character. Doesn't have anybody through most of the portions of the game until he meets Six. Once he meets Six, they become really good friends. They stay close together, pretty much go anywhere and everywhere together, all up until she changes. She starts reflecting herself more of a monster. And in this, a portion of the game, Mono's future self shows this to him, or tries to show this and tell him she can't be trusted. She's going to turn on you. That future version of him being the tall man. He tries warning her himself, but it doesn't seem to work. And of course, eventually he winds up being alone and growing into what we know as the tall man when she leaves and goes to the mall. Very Little Nightmares I haven't played for myself, but I think that's where this fits in before she actually gets into the mall and begins facing the monsters that she faces there. All of which the monsters there, including herself, the masked woman. Of course, that's where the games leave off, but I personally think that's where the stories of Six and Mono, their backstories take over, and I think that's pretty much piece by piece everything that leads up to Little Nightmares 3. Little Nightmares 3 is going to see us adventure with new characters and hopefully cam cameos from the past two, but who knows, we'll have to wait until it drops some point this year. Other than that, that is my theory. Rock out with your clown out. Thanks for watching.